Welcome back, Focus fans. Long time no see. This is Real Destinations, where we tour the locations that make our favorite movies look and feel real. Today, we're heading down south to explore a new American locale. What time is it? It's early. I got Jesse fed. I'll get her to school. Okay. Blue Bayou stars Justin Chan and Alicia Vikander as Antonio and Kathy LeBlanc. As a Korean American adoptee, Antonio just wants to provide the best life he can for his family. But an unfortunate encounter forces him to face his past, and he and his family learn he could be deported from the only place he has ever called home. Hey, did I say Bye, you can leave? Put your hands on me. Set deep in Bayou Country, the film was shot on location in New Orleans, Louisiana. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with the film's star, writer, director, and producer Justin Chan, who will give us insight into why this multicultural city was the perfect setting for his latest movie. Hi, Justin. Hi. Hi, Alicia. I know you said when you film in a city, you try to capture the authentic soul of a place. So what were you trying to capture about New Orleans specifically? This film does not take place in the New Orleans that everyone knows. It's more on the other side of the river, on the other side of the bridge. It does feel like real New Orleans, the everyday life type New Orleans. I see why you like it out here. It's beautiful. When it came to finding the right house for Antonio and Kathy, what were you looking for? I wanted something that felt uh, quintessentially New Orleans, which is a shotgun home. The thing I love about shotgun homes is you have to pass through rooms to get to the other places within the home. So it requires everyone to have to interact with each other to be a family. But uh, at the same time, when there's conflict, there's nowhere to go. It don't look that bad. Yes, it does. Jesse, it don't look that bad. I mean, I wish I could change my hair like that. Oh, come on. Okay. No, I, I take that back. Uh -huh. Another important location is the tattoo shop where Antonio works as a tattoo artist. What went into finding that location? I had lost all hope. I, I didn't think we we're going to find something. But we found this place. And Ace B, who plays Antonio's best friend in the film, was uh, at one point a tattoo artist at that particular parlor. We went over there and we talked to the owner, Miss Jackie. We barely dressed it, it's the real deal. And Jackie is a bit of a local legend, isn't she? She's a legend and she's no nonsense too. And I also put her in the film. It's only fitting because she's just so real. Like, you're not gonna get more real than that. You know I can get shut down for this. Hey, chill out, man. They're having a parent-child bonding moment. Don't mess that up. How would you know what that is? Your mama didn't drop you on your head. <laughs> Antonio makes friends with Parker throughout the film. So when it came to looking for a place for Parker's father, you wanted to find something that felt authentically Vietnamese. Yeah, the east side of New Orleans is, is where there's a huge Vietnamese community. We found a beautiful house. And the owner of the house was this older Vietnamese gentleman. And when I went there, I brought Lynn Dan, who plays Parker, with me. And she was like, oh, that's interesting. You know, like the owner of the house speaks the same Vietnamese dialect as me. So I was like, okay, well, he's going to play your dad. <laughs> <laughs> he's as authentic as you can get. And at lunchtime, his wife made all this food and was feeding the crew. And it was, just, uh, it was like very a family affair. My dad says you have a kind face. <laughs> New Orleans is one of my absolutely favorite places in the world. I really, really hope that they see the effort that was put into making it authentic and showing it in a way that's not from like a tourist, you know, eyes. It just makes it so much more real in the way you believe the characters and, and their lives. Hopefully the people who live there feel that it's their film. New Orleans is a lively, colorful city teeming with rich culture and history, making it a memorable destination for travelers and film productions alike. And to see more of this unique perspective on Louisiana, check out the moving drama Blue Bayou, only in theaters September 17th. Come on, let's go. Where are we going next? Subscribe to find out, and I'll see you at the next Real Destination. Bye.